my lads. So today, let's talk about the new attribute tree system. This is going to be a follow-up video in regards to the update that we did get a couple days ago. In case you missed that, it's a new soul tree for every character within an attribute, allowing us to increase their stats, enhance their soul traits and skills, and also potentially even unlock more levels for their transcendence and also links up level. The update had the potential chance to be super game-breaking, but something was amiss, and we'll talk about that in today's video. So let's scroll down and see what Killer had to say. So first up, in regards to resolved issues, issues that are currently now fixed. The first one is in regards to level 201 above character filters. This one, personally, I did not notice, but now I guess if you do filter by level 201, your characters now will display. This one is going to be the main chunk of the video, so we'll talk about that in a second. In regards to current issues, then this one's definitely worth talking about, right? So the new stats that we do get through this power-up system in the cop, Brave Battles, Guild Quest, and likewise Limit Breaker when that does release next month, the extra stats that we are getting are not being displayed on the preparation screen. And this led to many players thinking that this new update is only for point event, but not for the game modes where it actually matters. Epic Raids, Guild Quest, Brave Battles, Corp, etc. However, and we actually did know about this over on Reddit, someone did clarify, but Canada themselves are also stating here that we are still getting the stats. They are being applied to our characters. It's just currently now a display issue on on those preparation screens. So while you are playing in those game modes, you are getting the extra stats. It's just not displaying in the particular preparation screen. Unfortunately, this issue has not been resolved. That'll be maybe for our next update, but it's definitely important to understand we are getting the stats and this is for every part of the game. Now, one issue that they've yet to address, maybe they missed it, is in regards to battle power. Since we are now powering up all our characters at the same time, you might have noticed that your battle power increased by 100,000, maybe 200,000. And then with that, you might have already reached a new milestone on the achievement for battle power milestone, right? I can't actually show it right now because I've already maxed out the milestones. I believe 4 million battle power is the last reward that you do get in regards to battle power. But people did reach a new milestone and with that, they didn't get their brave key. They didn't get their brave ribbon. It looks like this, for example. That's clearly a bug. Would have liked if Kelly did address it in this particular news post seemed like they might have missed that but i'm sure in due time they will address it and eventually fix it at the same time now with that said let's talk about the main controversy with this update so what we're going to see here is a correction a minor spelling mistake not not really <laughs> but essentially during the notice for this new power up system and even in the display originally and this is the incorrect part the stat bonus will be added to the character's basic stat now it's been since corrected and stat bonuses will now be added to the character's adjusted stats in this case the green star and if we actually have a look at the news post we can see here that they did update the image it's now no longer going to the basic stat which was displayed in the original post and it's now going to the green stats or as we call it the bonus stats and this is where the controversy has actually happened because obviously people wanted it to be the basic stat or more so they thought it was going to the basic stat and now they feel lied to and i definitely do understand the frustration of being tricked with the original news post. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest, I feel like we're overreacting. I mean, I was saying leading up to this new update that it's, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, whether we're gonna get new basic stats, but I feel like overall for the long-term balance of this game and health, it's better that it goes to the bonus stat. Because why exactly is that? Well, obviously, if it was going to the basic stat, that would mean anytime you use accessories, you're now getting significant, not significantly, but since your basic stat is rising, that therefore means the stat that you get from accessories are also being increased. Since it's a bonus stat, if I use a Chappie on this particular Ichigo, it's only going to take from 700 attack. 771 instead of potentially 801. Well, that doesn't seem quite big. Remember, the stats that we do get from this system are quite large. I mean, it might not seem like it right now, but 200 additional attack, focus, and spell pressure only from the first page. When we get to the second page, it might offer more stats. Let's just say it gets doubled. If you could increase your SP, focus, and attack by 440 as a basic stat and then further increase that with accessories, I think that'd just be game-breaking. I think it would be way too... I think it'd be bad for the game. And I feel like maybe Caleb realized that themselves too. Maybe originally during the development of this particular system, they did have plans for it to be a basic stat. And then maybe somewhere along the line, maybe near the end of development, right before they released it, maybe a last minute change, who actually knows, they ended up deciding on it being a bonus stat. Because if we were hypothetically in the future able to get an additional 500 attack, which can get further increased by accessories and also be inherited from Lynx, right? 
I think that'd just be way too game-breaking. Way too game-breaking. I was originally maybe down for it. Again, I was saying leading up to this update, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. I would honestly be fine with either or. If it was to the basic stat, I wouldn't really complain about it. I'd like to see whether that would take us, but I think it as a bonus stat right now is probably for the best of the game. And I do feel like everyone complaining about it being not a basic stat. I understand being annoyed that we were kind of lied to, but being disappointed that it's not a basic stat, I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't get, I don't get it. The power-ups that we are getting through this system, even as a bonus stat, is still really good. I think people aren't thinking about the long-term effects of this particular update. Because again, if we go back to the stats that we are getting here, right? Only from the first page, which we will be able to finish in like two to three months, we're getting 200 extra SP, focus and attack. The second page is going to give us more stats. The skills and soul tree upgrades, while we don't really see anything super big, I mean, 2% Berserker, Bruiser for your skills and also soul traits will also further get increased in the second and maybe even third page. And we know there's definitely long-term plans for this system because in the first page, you can unlock more Transcendence levels and more Link Slot levels, but we can only upgrade it by an additional one. Well, we know Max Transcendence level in the future, and we can see that during the filters, is that Max Transcendence level will be level 20 slots. Max Link Slot level will be level 30 slots. So right now, at the start of this new system, it might not seem anything crazy, but in the long term, all the stuff that we are going to be able to, you know, actually get through this system, it will make a big difference. And I feel like it's good that it's going to be a slow burn grind. And since at least right now, we're all kind of progressing at the same time, assuming you are doing your dailies, that should allow Killer to plan future potential hard content around the progression of everyone, right? And it would also mean that they don't need to make the stats that the enemies have super high, higher than ever before, because now we're getting an additional like 1000 attack because it was originally going to be added to the basic that that's not going to happen and even then right even then again it's something that I, I see like a lot of people not even talking about is you know we are getting more basic stats we are getting more basic stats and there's going to be bigger ways to get a, a damage buff here through the fact that we can unlock more transcendent slot levels and also link slot level and i guess in hindsight it does make sense because Assuming these were supposed to be basic stat upgrades, it would make no sense to even give us more transcendence level. Because as of right now, the extra transcendence level that we can get seems to be super rare. Like we have to finish this whole section before we even get one extra level. And to upgrade that extra level, it is going to take one quintessence scroll, which as of right now, we have no idea how to get. It's going to require more essence scrolls, more transcendence material. And that's only for one slot on one character. So you have to pick and choose who you want to upgrade. And that 11th slot is only going to give you an additional 50 SP. 50 attack. You had to use all those rare items to get an additional 50 basic stat. Meanwhile, apparently, originally, they were going to give us 65 basic stat for basically logging in for one day. So I feel like Kellab just messed up. They definitely messed up originally saying that it was going to be a basic stat and it sucked that we were lied to. But I feel like this system is definitely better balanced around being bonus stats and not basic stats. And I really believe it's not that big of a deal as people are making it out to be. I get being disappointed that we were lied to, but being upset that we can't get an additional 1,000 extra attack because it's not being to our basic stat, I feel like it's a bit ridiculous because at least when I made my original video, I saw everyone complaining that it was too much. People were complaining that the power creep of this system is too much and that it wouldn't be good for the game and now everyone's complaining that it's not good enough. I don't get it. I don't get it. I think what we have right now is best seen as a long-term goal. Something that you want to do every single day, log in, complete the 20 quests, get those quests. Hopefully in the future, we do get more ways. We know we are going to get more ways to get these items to power up these particular nodes and that always happens every time we get a new power-up system, right? It's always going to be super limited at the start and eventually over time it will become widely more available right it was the same with link slot levels we could only ever do one quest at a time then it became five times super link slots were limited to single player only five players a week now you can infinitely farm it transcendence items were super rare now you can get quite a lot and we get even more daily through the achievement system every new pub system we do get it's always going to start off slow over time it will build up and we'll get more and it'll become easier to max out and this system, while it's going to the bonus stat, and you might think that's not super crazy, in the future it will, man, because an extra 200 SP attack and focus, double that when we go to the second page, an extra 400 focus is good. It's good. An extra 400 spell to pressure and attack, like, that's not that's not nothing. That's not nothing. And that's not even accounting for the extra transcendent and links to levels we are going to get, which is further going to increase the amount of stats that we can get. So, I do believe this is still quite the big update. We're not going to see the impacts of that until maybe we get to page two or three. So, for those that are maybe upset that it's not good enough just give it time 
you got to give it time, right? This is not a short-term update. It's a long-term goal. Log in every day, get those items, and power up your particular attribute tree. But with that said, I think that's basically covering the new update. Notice in regards to our new attribute trees. Again, I feel like it sucks that we misled originally. That it was meant to be in the basic start upgrade. You can definitely criticize Keller for that. But I really do believe it's not that big of a deal that the new stats that we are getting aren't going to the basic stat. I feel like it's better for the long-term balance of the game. And I feel like Caleb thought that too. Again, maybe originally they did have plans for it to be basic stats and then realized, hold on, this, is, this won't be good. Let's add it as a bonus stat. Even as a bonus stat, I don't think people are realizing the stats that we can gain through this system and what we're going to continue to gain as we go through page one, two, three, maybe even four. Who actually knows? We gotta see where this new update takes us. I still think it's a good update. But personally for me, I just want more ways to get these quests. I wouldn't mind a fumble quest for this. I wouldn't mind a new quest, even a weekly limited one, for us to get these items. Because right now, I feel like it is a tad bit too slow. Again, it's gonna take around three months to finish the very first page. Granted, that is like the slowest it can be. We know, as they state in the news, that we are going to be able to get them through campaigns and quests. I'm excited to see what that potential quest might be in the future. But either way, make sure you do your dailies every day. You don't want to fall behind. You want to get those extra stats. And you know what? Even if you can't do your dailies every single day, you aren't going to fall behind that much. Like, me having an extra 30 attack for the time being isn't going to be that game-breaking for now. But you don't want to just skip dailies for an entire month. Then you will start to fall behind. But then again, <laughs> then again, if it was the basic stat, if you missed a daily, that's like, that's it for you. You're done. So don't feel pressured to log in every day. Go at your own pace. If you want to get it, go for it. But I would recommend at least do your dailies every single day, right? Because you are getting those extra items that right now are super limited. Either way, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Maybe what I said in today's video was a hot take, but that's just how I feel. I'm fine personally with it being bonus stats. But let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.